Ashley Howard Teaches, and we are doing CC Cycle 2 Week 11 Tutor Plans. All right, so if you have not subscribed yet, would you hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss a week of homeschool planning, of tutor planning, of homeschool reviews, all sorts of things. And also, don't forget to stick around to the very end because I will be talking about review games. All right, so let's get started. All right, so for math this week, we are doing cubes. All right, so I like to find some kind of cube, whether it's a Rubik's Cube or a block or something, and we'll all sit in a circle and we'll slowly pass our cube as we say our cubes. Now remember, if you haven't downloaded the free digital download, I have one for you. You can check out the description below and it includes all of your skip counting numbers cubes and squares. So I hope you enjoy that. Hit that like button if you love to get free digital downloads. I would love to send you more. Let me know in the comments below what kind of digital downloads that you are looking for for free. After we have passed around our cube a few times, we're gonna do hopscotch cubes. So we're just gonna write those on the ground and we'll have tape out, painter's tape, and make a hopscotch with our cubes. So that's a fun way to kind of end math. And they're energetic and having fun anyway, so it's a great way to do it. All right, so let's move on to science. So for science this week, we are talking about phases of the moon. All right, so for our science, I found these wonderful worksheets from 123 Homeschool for me. So I highly recommend you check that out. I will leave the link below where I found these, but this is one of the things they had on there was the phases of the moon. Now there are some extra, it's a little more detailed than for our memory work, so you kind of have to adjust for that, but it's so fun. So you can cut these out, they can put them on there, you can laminate and then Velcro. If you don't have a great laminator, I have a link below for my classroom tools so you can find that there. I also think it's super fun to have Oreo cookies that are already shaped like the phases of the moon. And you can find that on 123 Homeschool for me also. So that is a fun way to bring those Oreo cookies already ready. And if they say them, they get to eat one. So that's kind of a fun way to do that too. So many fun ways to do this. You can also have shaving cream and they practice drawing the different shapes of the moon while they say them. So many fun ideas. So I hope that helps for science. All right, so let's move on to Latin. All right, so for Latin this week, we're doing future perfect tense. And what it sounds like is arrow. So first we'll pull back our arrow. We'll say this a couple of times and then we'll pull out our voices. Now, if you're looking for new ideas for voices or funny movements or funny actions, leave a comment below. And I'm thinking about creating a free, totally free for you, printable of voices of different things that you can print out so that you can have some fun, different ideas for that memory work. So that is our Latin this week. Let's move on to English. So for English this week, we're doing indefinite pronouns and we will do this to the chicken dance song. So it'll sound something like this, all another, anybody. So we'll do that and while we're doing it, we'll do our chicken dance and we'll let it go faster and then slower and then faster and slower and kind of rotate that way. So that's a fun way to do our English this week. Let's move on to history. So for our date for nine, we're going to go like this. And then for revolution, we're gonna get our arms going like this. And then for storms, we're gonna march like this. And then for Bastille, we're gonna make a B like this. And then for fought, we're gonna pull out our swords like this. And then for declaration, we're going to go like this, like we're signing a document. And then for later, we're gonna push back like this. And then for terror, we're gonna go like this, like a big scared face, like this. So we're gonna point to our head like this. And then for the last little bit, we'll just spin around. So that's how we will do our motions for history this week. It's always kind of fun during history to bring handheld items. So bringing a sword where each child gets to hold it, even if it's just like a paper towel roll, something fun where they get to kind of switch off and they get to direct the class for the history song makes it so much fun for them. So I love adding in little elements like that to keep it engaging and fun. All right, so let's move on to geography. All right, so for geography this week, I like to pull out my candy pumpkins. Since it's fall time, it's kind of a fun time to do this. So we'll move our pumpkins, or I might just give them each five or six, depending on how many locations we have, and they get to put those on there, and then afterwards they get to eat them. So that's kind of fun, they love doing that. So let's move on to our review game. All right, so for our review game, we're gonna play Thanksgiving Bingo. This is such a fun one. I like to 
laminate them so they last a little bit longer, but they have like the Mayflower and different things that relate to Thanksgiving. And as they answer a view question, then I call out a new card. And what's really fun is to have a little prize for them. Maybe it's a pencil, maybe it's cupcakes with little pumpkins on top. So that afterwards, if they win, they get to have one. Now, usually everyone will have a chance to win, but if they don't, I still hand them out at the very end and make sure everyone has one. So that one is such a fun one. They get so engaged. They have so much fun with bingo. And I never have a problem making that last the entire time. All right, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you like this video, it helps tremendously when you like or leave me a comment. Tell me what you enjoy about this video. Tell me what you'd like to see more of. Tell me your favorite review games. I love that. All right, so I will be working. I should be releasing a video about 10 Whistle by the end of this week. Hopefully that will help you out. So I hope you have a very blessed week. Don't forget to check out the description below for all the links of everything that I talked about today. Also, I have some free printables for you as well down there. All right, well, thank you so much for stopping by, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.